Well, hello again. This is another Trailing Off. I am Chad. I'm Sam. And we're talking today about the new trailer for Halloween. Halloween. The Halloween, y'all. This looks pretty interesting, pretty different, and I'm pretty excited. I mean, yeah, I, I liked it overall, like what I saw in that trailer. It was gritty. It yeah. Was, you know. It seems like it's just a taking the classic tropes of, of horror slasher film and working them out properly, like an exercise. Yeah, yeah. It's. It, I mean, it's. It, it looks like it's. Uh, it's trying to. Is go back to its roots, so to speak. You know, like when, when was the last Halloween movie that came out? They did not counting the Rob Zombie movies. Yeah, um, oh yeah, they, they because there was that whole thing. Those remakes and which they, were just so bad. I didn't see them. I wouldn't know. I, oh, didn't, I didn't have much care to go see him but the, i went and saw the first one in theater and then mm-hmm. for some reason i went and saw the second one in theater <laughs> and just, you saw the first one. Uh, god they were so bad but um uh the as far as like the jamie lee curtis halloweens go there was somewhere around the mid-aughts where they did one yeah the h2o no there was one after that there was one after h2o yeah it was like they're in a the premises they're in a haunted house no they're not a haunted house but they're locked in house shooting this reality show does, does, does Michael Myers team up with Freddy to fight Jason? No. Like were they? they no, had they, they gotten? Had they gotten that far no. with the ridiculousness yet? No, but it was Buster Rhymes was in it, so that's because that was ridiculous. a whole thing. That was like that was yeah. that was a trope by the end of the nineties into the two uh-huh. thousands. Was like these long running slasher yeah. franchises were making so many movies no, that just the, it didn't. The stories they, were getting ridiculous. They pushed it as far as they could, so I guess that's why when they came back to this one, it's they tried to make it much more. Like the originals. And it's good and it shows because two things I want to point out about this. It's made by Blumhouse. Oh, yeah. Blumhouse. Get Out, Split, The Purge movies. Which they're, is weird that they're making a movie like this considering those kinds of movies. Well, it's it's a movie that can be done on the cheap. The original Halloween didn't cost I, a lot. I mean, yeah, it's a horror movie. But like just mm-hmm. like considering that they've kind of been one of the big studios that's taking horror, the horror genre in new directions. It's but, interesting that they're going like back to slasher roots for... Yeah. For like I mean, for I mean, for a new Halloween and movie, it is and Halloween. You don't get more slasher roots than that. Oh yeah, like I think yeah, the Halloween was just barely beaten out by Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre. And Halloween in the trailers, like uh, forty years ago, Michael Myers killed three people on Halloween. I was like, that was it. It was only three people on Halloween. I mean, the original night. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we freaked out back then, acting like that was bloody it's, as can be. It's very effective horror. Yeah. Like 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 when was the last time you watched the original Halloween? It's been a while. John Carpenter knows how to make a damn movie. And speaking of John Carpenter, executive producer. That's how you know this is, we're we're in good hands, people. Yeah, like I saw the, I saw that at the end. It's probably in the first trailer too, but I wasn't paying as much attention. Um, just I see I saw that name and I was like, yep. Well, I feel a lot better about this movie. Yeah. So if you got John Carpenter as an executive producer, Blumhouse, which knows exactly how to make very specific movies. They make sure they're under five mil. They get directors who have proven themselves. Uh, they do everything at scale, and they just always you. Which whether you like guy? whether David you, David Gordon Green, David Gordon that's Green, the director of this. What one. else has he done? That's a good question. But with Blumhouse, whatever, wh- whether you like the movies or not, it doesn't change the fact that they they always make their money back and they always entertain. So that's what I think is cool about it, and I got really excited when I heard they were doing it because I'm like I I trust them. And then, and not only that, but they, but you know, it's like you said earlier, they're bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis, mm-hmm. and you know, like I, I was joking about like H two O because that was kind of, it was one of those movies like it, it was, it was just a couple of clicks shy of being Jason X level ridiculous. Oh man, that is a ridiculous movie because they don't go to space in it. Yeah. But there is a fight where Busta Rhymes. <laughs> Rapper Busta Rhymes yeah. fights Michael Myers. Yeah. And Jamie Lee Curtis is kind of rocking like that, uh, you know, like like she she kind of looks like maybe she's a character in the Terminator franchise. She just looks like a badass. So like she walks on the screen and it's just like, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. You know, like she's got the short hair look. I mean, yeah. like don't get me wrong. She looks good and everything. Oh, in yeah. it, but she doesn't really look like her character from the first Halloween movie. No. Like she looks like a different character by this yeah. point. And this character in this trailer It looks, looks like it looks like her. It looks like yeah. Lori. And not only that, I kinda get the vibe that they're gonna play her characters like the crazy doomsday lady. Yeah. And she's just insane. But what I gathered, because they kind of show scenes of her like shooting rifles and she's got like a panic room. Mm-hmm. It's like the crazy cat lady was right. Oh, that's that's a good way to put it. Yeah, so I think they're playing with that, and I really like what this trailer does. Is most trailers with slasher films just get right into the gore, 
uh, and the and the the jump scares, but but this one shows you two very slow methods of Michael Myers just walking and doing what he does. Yeah, and like in like just in plain view. I mean, it's like like in one of the sequences, it's nighttime, and you know it's, it's when trick or treating is in full effect. But it's like he's not making an effort to hide himself. He's walking through the crowds of of, of people walking down the street and just walking right up into somebody's house and grabbing a hammer, and then the rest is implied. Yeah. At least, he at least it is in the, the trailer. House. He just walks everywhere. Yep, he just walks right in. He's the proto slasher guy. You notice how slasher uh, killers never run? Yeah, because Mike Myers never ran. He it's just, because Mike Myers never runs. He took his time, and he's got a he's got a like 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 there's there's a classic Michael Myers sit up sequence. Like the, we get we get one of those shots. Yeah, which is nice. Oh man, Shot, this this movie's this, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm as, as far as as far as horror movies go, I got some hype for this one. Yeah, I don't really like to go see horror movies too often, and not yeah. in theaters. But this one I'll probably do. Yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about this thing, and uh, I can't wait to see it, and I hope everyone else does see it. What do you think, l- dear listener? What trailer should we do? Are you stoked about this? Is it garbage? Is it fantastic? Let us know. Hit us up on all the social medias. But for trailing off, I'm Chad. I'm Sam. Thank you for listening. What's up, crew? If you got any idea of what you would like for us to talk about on The Minute or on Movie Night Autopsy Podcast, hit us up on the social medias. You can hit us up on Twitter at Movie underscore Autopsy. Check us out on Facebook at Movie Night Autopsy. Always feel free to email us, contact at MovieNightAutopsy.com.